In the center circle, it's Edwards and Marshall to jump center. As this final ticket to the Elite Eight is punched with a win tonight. And it's Marshall that wins the tap to Padilla. Gives it off to Forbes, and off we go. Huskies start man-to-man, -man, and it's Arnold that guards Forbes. Forbes with a bounce pass. Gets it off to Davis against Beckers. Gives to Padilla for a right side three. That's way off the mark. Rebound is spiked out. Here's a three top of the key. No good by Forbes. And another chance for USC. As Forbes grabs it, and Juju Watkins gets her first touch. Picks up Arnold on the switch. Nika Mule guards her normally. Here's Watkins off a screen. Right of the key. Shot clock at eight. Stop it, go. She runs over. Arnold. And it's an offensive foul call on Watkins. USC averages 16 personal fouls per game. And the first one to the freshman. And Padilla with some light pressure. So Aliyah Edwards will inbound it to Nika Mule. And Mule will bring it up. Huskies going from right to left. Here's Becker's first touch. Snaps it off the shade over to Arnold on the left wing. KK looking inside. Cross court to Mule. Right wing to Shade. She's picked up by Forbes. Here's Mule down the left side. Dumps it off for Edwards, but the pass is picked off and stolen by Davis. Of USC, the Norwalk native Eurostep puts it up in traffic. It's blocked. Out of bounds from behind. A lot of contact, but nothing called. And the game's first turnover to Nika Mule for the Huskies as she tried to force a pass. USC's got some size, so some of those passes she's used to making in the Big East will not work tonight. Inbound to Marshall. Now it's Davis left of the key. Hands off to Juju Watkins. Beckers picks her up on the switch. Goes left. Pull up jumper for the elbow left. No good. Rebound tipped on the floor. Up with it is Marshall. And she dumps it in with a little right hand hook. And USC takes the early lead. Here's Beckers on the left wing. Huskies in the front court. Edwards top of the key. Back door to Beckers. The catch the layup from the right. And the game's tied at two as the two seniors hook up. Edwards. It's the game's first assist for UConn. Here's Padilla, out by midcourt. We play in a minute 30. She goes right off the screen. Shade stays with her. Now up top, it is Forbes. Three ball left of the key, and that's good. And USC takes a 5-2 lead. Mackenzie Forbes, team leading 76th. Three of the year. Gives USC a 5-2 lead. Shade to Edwards, top of the key. Veers to the right, hands off to K.K. Arnold. Down the lane, kick out. Shade left corner of three. Off the side of the rim, no good. Rebounded by Juju Watkins of USC. Into the front court left. Cut to the middle, spins. Throws it out, Padilla. Right wing for three. Back rim, no good. Rebound tipped up by Marshall, no good. And the rebound grabbed by Beckers. It's going to be tough dealing with Marshall. Beckers outlets the mule up the left side. But the Trojans are back. Here's Edwards, low post. Goes right, fakes left. Puts it up, no good. Rebounded by Marshall of USC. Gives it off to Mackenzie Forbes. It's 5-2 in favor of SC. Here's Forbes on the left. Goes right off a double screen. Around Marshall. Hands off to Watkins. Arnold picks her up on the switch. Behind the back dribble. Drives right. Dumps it inside. Marshall free and a foul inside. It's going to be against UConn. The question is whom? It's going to be against Ashlyn Shade, it looks like, for the hack and the axe. And the game's first foul goes to Ashlyn Shade. So here is... Raya Marshall, 6'4", junior, out of Los Angeles. 15 points shy of 1,000 coming in. She's already got a hoop tonight, and the first free throw is good. McDonald and Jordan Brand, All-American in 2021. She's a 68% free throw shooter. As USC has scored the last four points after the game was tied at two. Second one on the way is in. And USC ups the lead to 7-2. UConn so far, one of three. SC is two of eight. And it's a 7-1 advantage on the glass so far for SC. 5-0 on the offensive end. Here's Mule. Gets bumped. Gives to Edwards. Foul line along two. Side of the rim, no good. And the rebound by Marshall. Edwards will have to hit some of those tonight if UConn's going to stay in this one. Here is Watkins, left to right at the foul line. Throws it out, Forbes for three is an air ball short, goes out of bounds. Nope, Davis saves it, throws it right to K.K. Arnold. Arnold to the front court at 7-2. Here's Mule on the right. Bulldogs away to the foul line, tries to go back door to Beckers, but Beckers slowed up, and it's a turnover on the Huskies. They're second and both for Anika Mule, unfortunately. Although Beckers was supposed to cut there, and she didn't. So 6.45 to go in the first, and it's 7-2 in favor of USC. 
Here is Padilla in the front court. Snaps it off and she threw it away. Was looking for Watkins on the right. But Juju was about a third of the way down the lane and she was hoping for a back cut. Didn't happen. So UConn gets it back. Second turnover on the SC. Here's Arnold to Edwards, top of the key. Left wing to Shade. Ashland finds Nika Mule at the foul line. Gives to Arnold on the right. Closed out quickly by Watkins. Off to Shade with 13 to shoot. Here's Mule. Goes around the screen. Right side to Beckers. Inside Edwards. Fakes. Drives. Floater. Good. From the right. First bucket of the game for Aaliyah Edwards. That stops the run at five in their first two in two minutes. 7-4 SC. Four minutes in. Here's Watkins on the left, dumps it off to Padilla in the left corner. Dribbles, throws it cross court to Forbes. Forbes guarded by Arnold. Gets a screen from Marshall to the foul line. Top of the key, shoots, back rim no good. Rebounded by Edwards. Good box out. By Beckers. Here's Arnold going coast to coast, drives right, lays it in. Went left to right with a spectacular move, and Gino talked about that in the pregame show. Huskies have got to pick and choose when they run, and that was a good choice, 7-6. Here's Watkins off a screen. Elbow jumper left good. Juju Watkins first bucket. She is a high volume shooter. 9-6 SC. Here's Mill on the left. Hands off to Shade who gives to Edwards top of the key. Picks it up. Back door for Shade. Pass not there. Shade didn't cut. And that's UConn's third turnover. And SC just gets bigger now. As Clarice Akunwafu comes into the game. 6'6", junior from Los Angeles, and she comes in for Marshall. So it doesn't get any easier for Ali Edwards, and she just looks and goes, oh, my God, it just got bigger. <laughs> although, although U.S., although the Huskies didn't face Carmelo Cardozo this year. She did not play in that game back in February in Columbia. Here's Watkins on the right for SC. A couple of jab steps against Mule, now drives to the baseline. Forces contact in and won. What's Nick and Mule supposed to do there? Juju Watkins forced the contact on Nick and Mule and gets the N1. Well, that's why she's something special. Nika had no, had no chance there. And we'll take our first break. As UConn Women's Basketball, brought to you in part by UConn Health, the official health care partner of the UConn Huskies. It's 11 6 SC. Watkins tries to double up the lead on the Brown Penderis and Scott scoreboard when we come back after 5.05 on the first on the UConn Sports Network from Learfield, presented by Dime Bags. Planning a move? Let Lip and Cut Van Lines, the official mover of the Yukon Huskies, take the worry and stress out of your relocation. Whether you're moving across the country, across the world, or just across the street, Lip and Cut Van Lines will handle your packing, moving, and storage needs with the care and quality they deserve. If the Yukon Huskies football team can trust Lip and Cut to get their gear to the field on time, you can trust them to get your items where they need to be. Call Lip and Cut Van Lines today for a free estimate at 800-245-8563. Looking to score a home run in the real estate game? Look no further than Lewis Real Estate. We're not just about the commission. We're about giving back to the community. With below market fees and personalized attention, we're the advocate you need in your corner. Don't settle for less. Choose Lewis Real Estate and make your real estate dreams a reality. Visit the Lewis Business Center conveniently located at 994 to 1000 Farmington Avenue, West Hartford. That's slewisrealestate.com. The exclusive real estate company of UConn Athletics. Duncan is dropping a new kind of energy. I'm Mike Crispino, voice of the Huskies, introducing Sparked Energy by Duncan. It's energy for the fun of it. Available in two full-on delicious flavors, Berry Burst and Peach Sunshine. It's what you need when your afternoon needs you to get going. A revitalizing burst of caffeine, vitamins, and minerals gives you the energy to turn the fun up to 11. True story. Drop by or order ahead on the Duncan app. Fruit flavored contains 0% fruit juice, caffeine from caffeine and guarana. Participation may vary. Limited time offer terms apply. Juju Watkins of the free throw line when we come back to action. The 11 6 USC on UConn of the Brown Paneris and Scott scoreboard with 455 to go here in the first. Our broadcast of this NCAA Division I Women's Basketball Championship game is authorized on a broadcast rights granted by the NCAA through Westwood One. It's intended solely for the private, non commercial use of our audience. Any reproduction, retransmission, or other use of the broadcast without the express written consent of the NCAA and Westwood One is strictly. Well, early on, 
UConn is three of six with three turnovers. USC is four of 12, but early on they have dominated the glass eight three. And they have five offensive rebounds already, but only two second chance points. So they have not made UConn pay yet for the dominance on the glass. And if you're watching the game and listening to us on the radio, which we appreciate you doing, uh, Nika Mule had no chance on that Watkins hoop. She leaned into Nika and forced the contact. So she is a crafty player. And if you heard Beth Burns in the pregame, she used the names Diana Tarazi and Maya Moore to describe Juju Watkins, who knocks down the free throw. That is free throw number 275. She's got five, the last five for the Trojans, and they lead it 12-6 on the Huskies. Mule to shade between the circles. Bounce pass backers at the left elbow, guarded by Forbes. Turn, shoots, front rim, backboard, no good. And then we have a foul on the floor with Edwards going for the rebound. It looks like Mackenzie Forbes is going to be the guilty party committing the foul for USC. So UConn will get the inbound. He'll find Shade on the right. Turn, squares up for a long two, no good. And the rebound grabbed by Akunwafu of USC. Gives to Watkins in the front court with the Huskies down six. Could it be more? No. Watkins misses a three. Left to the key and the rebounded by Ellie Edwards. Off to KK Arnold with speed, but Padilla covers her. Gives to Mule. Turns, fires up a three. That's long. Rebound tipped up by Watkins. Grabbed by Shade of UConn. Shade gives to Mule out by midcourt. The Huskies reset with 4.15 to go here in the first. Mule to Shade on the handoff on the right. Between the circles to KK Arnold. Bounce pass. Beckers back to Arnold. Right of the key. Head fakes. Back to Beckers for a three. It's no good for the left wing. Me rebound Mule. She blew the lamp. It slipped out of her hands. And USC gets the rebound. It's going to be tough to score for UConn. Here's Forbes down the right. Lays it up in and she's fouled on a drive in the hoop. And Ashland Shade fouls her on the way up. And that's two on Ashland Shade. Seven straight for USC. Could be eight in a moment. Here comes Taylor Rigby into the game. The Oregon transfer comes in for Davis. So they go a little smaller. Rigby is 6-1 out of... Well, I'm looking at the wrong number. I'm sorry. It's Kayla Williams, 5'7", senior from Los Angeles. Not Rigby. And here comes Caden Samuels, who has not played the last two games for the Huskies. So here's Forbes trying to complete the and one. The number two scorer here on SC makes the free throw, and it's an 8-0 USC run. And it's 14-6. And you heard Gino say slide screen and then pat the top of his head. Beckers on the right, goes left to the top of the key with the left-hand dribble. Cross-court Arnold on the right. Attacks in the lane, lost the handle, turn it over. Padilla up with it. Veers to the right, looks for a teammate. And it's Forbes. Forbes goes right off the screen, in the lane, and the rim lays it high off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Beckers. Edwards challenged the shot. Here's Paige down the right side. She's taking it to the rim, gets contact, and scores. Got Padilla going backwards, forced the contact, and Beckers snaps the run with her second hoop of the night. As she drove down the right side of the lane, had Padilla sideways, got her off position, and she makes the shot. And that ends the run, a much-needed bucket for the Huskies, who are now 4 of 12 from the field. So here's Beckers, 4 of 7 on Saturday for the line, knocks down the and one and she's got 5 of UConn's 8 points. Make it 9 points, 15-9. Here's Watkins, top of the key. Here's left now, back between the circles. Now sprints left through the deep, hands it off, but it's off the hands of a Kofanu, and Beckers up with it for UConn. Fourth turnover for USC. Beckers drives. Hands off to Edwards who lays it in from the right. The dribble drive by Beckers made that happen. And Edwards gets her second hoop. 15-11. Huskies within four. Three minutes to go here in the first. Here's Mackenzie Forbes. For the Trojans. Front court left. Off a screen. Picked up by Beckers. Gives it in the corner for Kayla Williams. Drives right. Hesitates. And she double dribbled. Turnover for USC. Beckers with a quick change of pace. And she got a lot of attraction to her like a magnet. And Edwards was wide open on the right for that last layup. 
as UConn's cut this thing to four. Both teams have made five field goals. The difference is one, three, and three more free throws. 15-11. Here's Mule. On the left, hands off to Beckers. Cross court to Samuels. Back left of the key to Edwards. Aaliyah goes to the right. Bounce a pass. Nope, hands off to Arnold. KK in the lane. Loops it to Samuels on the left. She dribble drives. Lost the handle. Gets it back. Five to shoot. Here's Beckers. Beckers is not to do a Caitlin Clark. Long shot. A three off the side of the rim. No good. It goes out of bounds. And it was touched by USC's Williams, it appears. Although they may correct that. Yep, it's going to be USC ball. No, it's going to stay UConn ball. I'm sorry. They said Williams got a hand on it. So it's UConn ball. Mule inbounds to Edwards. Sideline left with two minutes to go here in the first. Malia snaps it off to Caden Samuels. Shades on the bench with two fouls. Now Mule backdoor Beckers the catch. Reverses short. And she got fouled. A late call. On USC and Beckers to the free throw line. That time Mule threaded the needle with a terrific bounce pass. Beckers tried to reverse. But to no avail. Yes, there was a bump there. Akunwafu got her on the way up. And it will be two for Beckers as Marshall comes back in the game for USC. So here's Beckers to the free throw line, knocking down the first of two. Page has been tremendous in this postseason. Over 1,640 points now for her career. Knocks down the two free throws. And she leads the Huskies with seven. 15-13. Seven straight for UConn inside a minute 50 to go here in the first. Here's Forbes on the right. Back out to Kayla Williams. Gives to Watkins who spins on the left wing. Now goes off to Marshall. Back to Watkins. Spins left. UConn's forcing her left. And you want her to do that. Here's Forbes. Gives it off. Here's a Marshall shot to the left. No good. But it went off Edwards and out of bounds. Six to shoot. It was an air ball. So the shot clock doesn't recycle. If you can force Juju Watkins left, you're in good shape. Watkins will inbound. Loops it to Marshall. Now it's Davis. Now here's Watkins. Doesn't get the shot off. She made the shot, but it's a shot clock violation on USC. Good day there by the Huskies. As Watkins caught it on the right with a couple of head fakes after the pass from Marshall. And each team now racking up the turnovers. Five for SC. Three of them in the last two and a half minutes. Here's Arnold on the right. Bounce pass Edwards. Works inside on Davis. Spins, reverses, and hits. From the right, six for Aaliyah. And we're tied at 15. Here in this Elite Eight game, minute to go in the first. Here's Forbes, stop and go on the right. Stops, 15-footer, good. Got knocked down by Beckers, they didn't blow the whistle. And a break for UConn, that's eight for Forbes. 17-15. 45 seconds to go in the first. Here's Mule, sideline right for UConn. Two turnovers early for Mule. Watkins guarding her. Beckers, constant movement along with Edwards. Mule picks up her dribble, finds Beckers top of the key, gives to Edwards, right side. Fakes, drives, bounce pass to Samuels, but Edwards runs over Davis. And a foul on Aaliyah Edwards, her first. UConn's fifth turnover. And SC will get the chance for the last shot here with 27.7 seconds to go in the first. Padilla, Davis... Forbes, Marshall, Watkins, the starting five out there for SC right now. Here's Padilla. Right hand dribble, goes right on the sideline, spins left. 13 to go on the first. Here's Forbes, top of the key between the circles with 10, guarded by Beckers. Looking for a high screen from Davis. Uses it, picked up by Samuels, gets Byer. Blocked from behind by Beckers. Ball is loose, grabbed by Samuels, and that'll do it for the first quarter. So Beckers gets the block, and for Paige, that is her 17th block of the postseason. And after one on the Brown Penderson Scott scoreboard, it's the made field goal by Juju Watkins at 124 was ruled a shot clock violation. The phase on review. All right, that should be that should stand, but we'll see. That's my Forsberg, by the way. So you get to hear 
and the effects what the referees will tell you. So I don't have to guess. That's good. Big Wise, the official broadcast booth sponsor of the UConn Sports Network, supports all of our local teams. Big Wise, your family market. It's more than food. It's supporting local. 17-15 after one. SC the lead on the UConn Sports Network from Learfield, presented by Dime Bank. College sports fans now have access to hundreds of weekly podcasts that zero in on the college sports world. Now available in the Varsity Podcast Network and part of the new Varsity app. The app is free and available from wherever you get your favorite apps. Download the Varsity app today to have access to hundreds of national podcasts as well as your favorite team-focused podcasts. The Varsity Podcast Network, now available for free on the Varsity app. Download from the App Store and listen today. Fight on, Connecticut. This is the Yukon Sports Network from Learfield. Three of lung cancer can be pretty scary, especially if you're one of approximately 8 million current or former smokers at high risk. That's why SaveByTheScan.org wants you to know that now there's a breakthrough low-dose CT scan that can detect lung cancer early, and it only takes 60 seconds. You stop smoking, now start screening. For an easy quiz to see if you're eligible, visit SaveByTheScan.org. It could save your life. SaveByTheScan.org is brought to you by the American Lung Association's Lung Force Initiative and the Ad Council. Into the building for the first time after the shooting, it was crippling, but it had to be preserved. In response to the Pulse nightclub shooting that affected the LGBTQ community, Barbara Palma, owner of Pulse, founded the One Pulse Foundation to honor Pulse victims and survivors. If you're an ally of this community, speak out. There are more of us together than apart. It is the power of love in its rawest form. Join the fight for LGBTQ acceptance. Learn how at lovehasnolabels.com. Brought to you by Love Has No Labels and the Ad Council. An entertaining start to this one, 17-15, USC leads UConn after one, introducing Sparked Energy by Duncan. It's energy for the fun of it, available in two full-on delicious flavors, Berry Burst and Peach Sunshine, a revitalizing burst of caffeine, vitamins, and minerals. Fruit flavored contains 0% fruit juice, caffeine from caffeine and guarana. Participation may vary. Limited time offer, terms apply. Well, we told you before the game tonight that USC has a transfer from Columbia, Caitlin Davis from Norwalk. Of course, I asked her yesterday about the fact that she's actually playing the team from Connecticut that she grew up watching. Yeah, it's definitely a little weird uh, playing in this game, but I think it's also a dream come true. Growing up in Connecticut, you dream of uh, being on the same court as them um, and as Gino. So I think this is a great opportunity. Um, and even my family back home, you know, they're huge Huskies fans, but they're like, you got to get them on Monday. So, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't blame them one bit. And so far in this game, Davis is 0 for 1. USC with an 11-10 advantage now on the glass as the Huskies getting after it now. They've got their sea legs in the early going. It was all USC early. In fact, at the first media timeout, it was 8-3. So UConn able to get back and uh, let's see here, 7-5 over the last 4.55 of that first Forbes leads USC with eight, Watkins with five, Marshall with four. Meanwhile, it's Edwards with six, Arnold with a deuce, and Beckers with seven. Mule and Shea both 0 for 2, and Ash on the bench with two fouls. So it's going to be a steady dose of Caden Samuels, who did not play the last two games. So Shea now has missed her last six shots. Of course, she only took four on Saturday. Huskies get the ball first. They have never led. They were tied at 2-15. and 15. As we begin the second, Huskies going from right to left here in the first half. Beckers, left-hand dribble on the right, goes left, gives to Samuels for three. Missed it off the back rim. Edwards rebounds for UConn, spins, lost the handle, on her knees, bounce pass, Padilla knocks it out of bounds. Edwards slipped but kept the dribble and tried to get it to Mule in the right corner. Padilla knocked it out of bounds. But Edwards got the rebound. She leads the Huskies with three. Beckers inbounds, gives to Edwards. Sideline right. Beckers comes to the ball with 14 to shoot. This on the right wing. Pops a long two. Misses off the back rim at Watkins. Rebounds for SC. 
In on the front court right. Looks around. Almost had it knocked away by Samuels, who gets it to Forbes now to Watkins in the right corner. Goes left in the lane. Spins right. Bounce past the Marshall on the baseline right. Works inside. Double team forces it up. It's knocked out of bounds by UConn. Although Marshall saying she had her arm grabbed. But the officials say otherwise. So Mackenzie Forbes will inbound on the baseline to our right. We are right at the top of the key on the end that is correctly measured off. Inbound for SC. Shot by Padilla. Missed. Rebound inside. Missed by Davis. And the rebound Arnold. Sprints out to Mule up the right side. Nika stops. Pops and hits for the right elbow. And the Croatian gets her first bucket. We're tied at 17. Anything point-wise from Nika tonight would be huge for the Huskies. Trying to get to their 23rd Final Four. Here's Davis, guarded by Beckers on the left. Spins. Gives it to the foul line to Marshall. Marshall goes left. Spins on Beckers. Hook shot is an air ball to right to Davis, who catches it on the right and lays it in. There were three Huskies around Marshall, and Davis was wide open. So I guess the shot turns into a pass. And it's 19-17 SC. Samuels to Mule on the switch. Hands off to Beckers on the right. Around the screen. Gives to Edwards top of the key. Goes left to Arnold. KK in the lane. Bounce pass. Mule. Three ball for the right wing is short. And the rebound grabbed by Juju Watkins as UConn now 0 for 6 from 3. Here's Watkins. Hesitates on Samuels. Lost the handle. Beckers may have gotten a hand on it. But no foul call. As Samuels grabs it. Gives to Beckers. Paige checking her nose to see if she got hit in the face. It's been a physical game so far. And they're letting him play a little bit. Here's Nika Mule sideline right for the Huskies. Down two with the ball. Bounce pass Beckers. Right corner turn. Shoots a three and swishes it. Buckets with her first three. The 79th three of the year. She's got 10 of the Huskies. Their first lead of the ball game. 2019. Here's Padilla. Gives it to Davis on the left wing. Now it's Forbes. Guarded by Arnold. And they're going to get KK for a block. And Gino just shaking his head and says, give her a little room out there. First foul on Arnold. And while we have a second, 10 seconds for station ID on the UConn Sports Network from Learfield, presented by Dime Bank. <laughs> Off the inbounds... Nika Mule gets called for a hold on Juju Watkins at the right elbow. And that's Nika Mule's second foul. So the Huskies guards starting to rack up foul trouble. And if I'm SC, I'm going right at Nika here. Let's see what they do. Padilla on the inbound gives it to Mackenzie Forbes. Forbes on the right wing, guarded by Arnold. Starts left, gets bumped, lost the handle, gets it back. Gives to Watkins, gets around Mule. Now Beckers picks her up five to shoot. They work it to Davis. Bumps, leaner, backboard no good. Rebound tipped up in the air, tipped up again. Edwards tipped it to Beckers. Good work by Aaliyah for the Huskies, who lead it by one. Actually, they call that a two. Here's a drive. Layup good. K.K. Arnold driving. And the Huskies lead it 21-19. They must have called Beckers shot a two, not a three. Because they changed the score, and then we have an offensive foul. No, a blocking foul on Arnold. And that's two on Arnold. So Arnold, Shade, and Mule all have two fouls. And this is the danger for UConn. Two officials that are not familiar at all with the Huskies. And they've been blowing the whistle a lot. Three team fouls of the Huskies, none for SC so far. It's been physical, no question. Here's Watkins, sideline left, even Gino giving it to the officials. Here is Davis down the lane, knocked away by Samuels, grabbed by Forbes, top of the key three, short rebounded by Caden Samuels of UConn. So it's 21-19. They called Becker, shot at two. Here's Page, top of the key, dumps it to Edwards at the high post. Nika Mule calling for the ball. Gets it top of the key. Gives to Samuels who's wide open. Can she hit it? You bet she can. It's a Q-bomb for Samuels and SC calls for time. As UConn has a five-point lead with 6-12. 
to go in the second. And we'll take a break. UConn basketball brought to you in part by Datco. And he invites you to come join the Datco team in 2024. Go to datco.com forward slash jobs. Datco is UConn's exclusive transportation partner. 24-19 the Huskies on the Brown, Pandera, and Scott scoreboard. With 6-12 to go in the half. This is UConn women's basketball on Learfield. Presented by Dime Bank. Big Y, your family market is proud to be the broadcast booth sponsor of the Yukon Radio Network. Whether it's a meal for two or setting up a feast for the whole team, make sure to visit your local Big Y for it all. Grab some grinders, a party-sized pizza, even sushi and sandwiches. Big Y has all the essentials to satisfy even the hungriest crew. I'm iHeartMedia's Renee Danino, reminding you that it all starts with a trip to Big Y, your family market. It's more than food. It's my Big Y. Are you traveling out of Bradley Airport and need a safe, reliable place to park your car? Trust your vehicle to Last Fly Off Airport Parking, located on Route 75 in Windsor Locks. They have both valet and self-park options to fit any budget. Last Fly is open 24 hours a day and will get you to the airport on time, every time. Join their loyalty program to earn points for free parking and be sure to ask about their corporate discounts. Save 20% by pre-booking online at lazfly.com. Last Fly is the official parking company and a proud supporter of UConn Athletics. Power Station Events is the official production partner of the Yukon Huskies. The ultimate one-stop source featuring audio, video, lighting, staging, talented DJs and musicians, photography and videography, stunning decor and florals, and much more. As we celebrate our 40th anniversary, we want to thank Yukon Nation as we look forward to the next 40 years. Visit us at PowerStationEvents.com and let us help you plan your next awesome event. Back here in Portland, Oregon, Moda Center, Big Y broadcast position, 25-19. During the break, the officials went to the replay on that Becker's corner shot. Yeah, the play-by-play -play guy was right. It was a three. So Becker's is 10. And now it's an 8 nothing run for UConn as they have taken a 25-19 to 19 lead. So it's eight straight points for the Huskies. No one gets you closer to the game than Sirius XM College Sports Radio. Tune in for news talk and analysis from the offseason through the regular season into the postseason. We've got your team covered anywhere you go. Get a free trial at SiriusXM.us slash College Sports Radio 2023. Earlier today... Jimmy Penders baseball nine got a win over Central Connecticut. Zach will have that, I'm sure, at the half. Softball also played today. They were a winner. So Zach will have that covered. And of course, the men are in the final four again. 8-15. Saturday night pregame. They're the late game in Arizona. They'll take on Alabama, who they beat here in Portland last year in the Phil Knight events. Here it's eight straight for UConn and a 25-19 lead. Biggest lead of the game for the Huskies. Biggest lead of the game, USC was up nine before the Huskies rallied late first quarter. So SC with the ball, here's Juju Watkins. Long three straight on, bullseye. 66-3 of the year. Eight for Watkins, who's been quiet. She's tied the NCAA freshman record. 25-22, that ends the run. Here's Mule for the Huskies. Looking right to Beckers. Nothing there, so Samuels comes to the ball, gives it right back to Nika Mule. Mule goes right, avoids a double team, gives to Edwards, top of the key. Down the lane, Eurostep, scoops, shot, no good. She's fouled, and she'll shoot two. And she is fouled by Clarice Akunwafu. And it will be free throws for Edwards. Second on the 6-6 center from Los Angeles. And that'll get Mackenzie Forbes right back up. So here's Edwards. Malia was 0 for 1 for the line on Saturday. And that came in the first half. And she misses the first one here. You can see a big difference on the three-point arc down the left end of the floor. The black stripe is about nine inches farther back. That was repaired overnight. Second one on the way is good for Malia. So she's got seven along with three boards, and Forbes comes into the game for Akunwafu. So 26-22 after the Edwards free throws. Here's Caleb Padilla, Torrance, California. 
Gives it off to Watkins. Inside to Davis. Gets free. Lays it up. Holds off the front iron. And Edwards rebounds. Outlets to Mule. Huskies up four with the ball. Nika goes right to left. Gives the Samuels up top. Edwards. Davis right near grill. Edwards hands off to Arnold. Down the left side of the lane. Protects. Puts it up. Davis got a hand on it. So did Forbes in the rebound SC. Davis gets it to Watkins. Trying to force contact on Arnold. Now Mule picks her up. Here's Forbes over here for Pradee on the right. Gives it to Forbes, goes off a screen, and they're going to get a push on Arnold. And that's pretty blatant, and boy, that's trouble for the Huskies. Three on KK Arnold. UConn's got to be smarter than that. That that was very blatant right at the top of the key. Couldn't miss that, unfortunately. And Arnold and the Huskies are finding themselves in some big trouble foul-wise here as we get to the timeout. 4.56 to go here in the half. It's UConn 26 and USC 22 in this Elite Eight game from Portland. On the UConn Sports Network from Learfield, presented by Dimebag. Calling all movers and shakers, those cranking around on crutches, the high-heeled, the ready-to-be-heeled, the always-on-your-feet. We are masters of mobility, healers of joints, muscles, bones. What moves you moves us. We are UConn Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, where we practice what we teach. Here, academic medicine, research, and clinical care unite as one relentless power. Because together, anything is possible. Visit us at health.ucon.edu. Keeping you ahead of severe weather is the most important thing we do. Hi, I'm Channel 3 Eyewitness News Chief Meteorologist Mark Dixon. And I'm meteorologist Scott Haney. We're doubling down on our commitment to you with something you won't see anywhere else. First alert weather. It's our promise to alert you as far in advance as possible. Simply put, when we know, you know. So you have more time to plan, prepare, and to keep your family safe. This is why we first alert. Six to go before halftime. Zach Linfield will take over. Fortunately, he doesn't have those twenty-minute half times like he does with the men. But he, of course, doesn't do it all. Wayno helps out. It's uh, twenty-six, twenty-two. UConn here. We're in Portland, Oregon. The Elite Eight. The last ticket to the Final Four will be punched tonight, and the winner gets Iowa in the late game Friday night in Cleveland. Points of the paint. Kind of shocking. Would you have guessed fourteen six Huskies? Well, that is the case. Thanks in part to. Aaliyah Edwards and some attacking of the rim once again by both Paige Beckers and K.K. Arnold. And that's part of the reason why. And as we all know, under the basket's prime real estate, points of the paint brought to you by Lewis Real Estate, the exclusive real estate company of UConn Athletics. Looking to buy or sell? Call 860-404-2655. Well, the big concern right now for UConn is they've got seven players available. Well, right now... Three UConn guards have serious foul trouble. Shade early with two. Nika Mule has two. And now KK Arnold with that push off. She has three. And Caden Samuels, who did not play at all the last two games, has already logged nine minutes. She hit a three to cap that 8 0 run for UConn that has them in front. But the last thing UConn needs is foul issues. Because they've only got seven healthy bodies, and Ice Brady looks like she's going to be coming in for the Huskies as assistant Jamel Elliott talking to both Ice Brady and Leah Edwards as they break the team huddle. And now the five out there for the Huskies huddles up. So it'll be USC ball just to our left here on the near sideline, and Mackenzie Forbes will inbound. Forbes played against UConn as a freshman at Cal. She played eight minutes. One of three from three. That was December 22nd of 18. Katie Lou had a big game that day for the Huskies. Here's Watkins. Front court right. Picked up by Beckers. Five to shoot. Watkins between the legs. Pops a three and hits. That's just nasty. Two threes for Watkins. She has 11. It's a one-point UConn lead with 4.30 to go in the half. Here's Edwards to Brady. Her first touch gives the Beckers. Can't shoot the three. Dribble drive. Shoots and hits. Just left of center at the foul line. Beckers with 12. Back the other way. A three ball. No good by Forbes. Rebound. Watkins misses inside. 
Ball goes through the hands of Brady. It's volleyballed around. Bodies diving all over the place. It's a tie-up. Arrow possession to USC. No one could control the rebound. Looked like Brady had it, then it was knocked out of her hands. And then it just became a game of pinball. So SC will get it back. SC's taken five more shots than UConn. 18 15 SC on the glass. Here's Davis. Right of the key. Gives to Marshall. They're giving her plenty of room. Baseline right. Davis swings it over Padilla on the left corner. Padilla dribbles right to the foul line. Gives it inside. Davis handles it. Triple team. Out to Padilla. Straight on three. Back rim no good. Rebounded by Edwards. Tippy toes the sideline. Double team. Gets it to Beckers who comes to the ball. That's how you're supposed to do that. Good work by the two seniors. Huskies by three in the basketball. 3.35 to go in the half. Here's Brady. Left of the key for the Blue Cloud Huskies. Giving her plenty of room. Here's Samuels right of the key. Hands off to Beckers. Long three right side. Got it. Beckers. Second three. She's got 15. Huskies by six. Here's Watkins looking to answer. Top of the key. Long two. Front rim backboard. No good. Brady handles the rebound for the Huskies. Tyson's first stat of the night. Huskies by six, matching their biggest lead. They've made five of their last six. Here's Mule out by midcourt. Yo-Yo dribble. Padilla guarding her with three minutes to go in the half. Loops it to Edwards, right of the key, outside the arc. Now goes left. Hands off to Beckers. Right elbow. Jumper. Round. Out. Rebound. Off Marshall's hands. Yes. And out of bounds. On the baseline to the left. SC's missed four straight shots. UConn is 12 of 26, 3 of 8 from 3. SC is 9 of 31, 3 of 11. Forbes is 3 of 10. Inbound Brady. Looking for Edwards. Instead goes right, gives to Samuels. Catch and shoot 3. Short. Rebounded by Davis of USC. Good look for Samuels. Couldn't make it. Here's Watkins back the other way. Right to left of the foul line. Gives to Forbes. She'll penetrate left side of the lane. The pull up good. It's Forbes and Watkins carrying SC. Watkins with 10, or Watkins with 11, Forbes with 10, 31-27, 2.20 to go in the half. SC out and trailing the Huskies. Here's Nika Mule out by midcourt for UConn. Telling Brady to move right, gives to Edwards on the right. She'll drive left in the lane, layup is blocked by Marshall, grabbed by Davis. Outlets, Padilla to Watkins, Juju. Works on Mule. Mule's Nick has got to be careful. She's got two fouls already. Padilla, Forbes, fakes on the three, takes a three, misses the three, and it's going to go out of bounds. And our friend Jake, UConn grad assistant from Coventry, the former manager, makes the catch on the UConn sideline. UConn's outscored SC 16-10 so far here in the second. Minute 45 to go before halftime. Huskies by four with the ball. Here's Mule to Beckers. On the right. A dribbles between the circles. Gives it left to the key to Samuel. Snaps it back on the right to Nika Mule. Finds Beckers baseline right. Backing her way down. Head fakes. Gives up top. Brady a long two straight on bullseye. Ice, ice Brady. First bucket of the game. 33-27. UConn equals their biggest lead. Here's Watkins. Top of the key. Gives to Forbes. Drives left to right. The paint gives it off to Marshall. Free for an easy two. Edwards backed away. Because she had no chance. Here's Mule back the other way for UConn. Looking back door. Nope. Gives it up top to Brady. Brady looks for Edwards with the pass deflected. Marshall got the deflection and the steal by Padilla. Turnover number six on the Huskies. Each team with six. Here's Watkins inside to Marshall. Bobbles. Bustles it away up. No. And she's fouled. Somehow she got that to the rim. And it's going to be Brady that gets called for the push. Wow, Rhea Marshall, pass was down in her feet from Watkins. Double team and still managed to power her way up. Brady was looking inside for Edwards on the offensive end, but there just wasn't any arc on the pass. That's the turnover. Each team's only turned it over once here in the second. As Marshall, a three for three from the free throw line. Some of her joys, thrifting and shopping for a 6-4 Ford. Makes the free throws. And it's back to a three-point game with a minute to go here in the half. Huskies actually by two, 33-31. Here's Mule. 
Right wing for UConn. National flag blue. Bounce pass Beckers down the right side of the lane. High off the window. Hit the side of the backboard as Beckers falls. Rebounded by SC. Here's Watkins. Little stutter step. Driving to the rim. Double team lays it up. No one shall shoot two. Samuels and Brady had no chance on Watkins. Samuels gets called for the foul as Juju Watkins, a very lengthy 6'2", long legs, long arms, and she's got game. Yeah, she got bumped by Samuels from behind as we look at the replay. So here's Watkins back to the free throw line, and Lord knows she's taken enough of them. She now has the single season freshman record for points in a season. Just going to add to it. She has 13 as she's made both free throws. And 34 seconds to go in the half. And it's a 33 all tie here at the late first half here at Portland. Here's Nika Mule. Huskies can pretty much run it down. There'll be about four seconds left. 13 to shoot. Here's Mill on the right. Becker's trying to fight through traffic. She's held up as Mackenzie Forbes gets called for a hold. That is team foul number two on USC. So all that does is give UConn an inbound. That's two on Mackenzie Forbes. That will get Taylor Bigby, the 6'1 redshirt sophomore from Las Vegas, into the game. Transfer here from Oregon. So Beckers will inbound on the baseline so UConn can run the clock out, barring a turnover. Beckers loops it to Mule. On the perimeter right, 13 seconds to go on the half. Watkins guarding Beckers, by the way. Here's Mule sideline right with eight. Beckers trying to get up top. Now instead, Mule gives it to Brady with two. Down low to Edwards. Bump puts it up in, but they're going to call an offensive foul on Aaliyah Edwards. As I think Davis got position. Inbound to Watkins, and she'll let the clock run out. And the replay didn't run enough to give me a good indication if that call was good or not. But for the third time this season, UConn goes into the locker room, tied at halftime. The other two ties, and we played a Mohegan Sun against North Carolina in December, and then the President's Day game against Creighton. The Huskies and the Blue Jays were tied at halftime. So at the break, it's 33 all. And yes, the Stars lead the way. Beckers with 15 and four assists for the Huskies. She's 5 of 11. Watkins is 4 of 8. She's got four boards and 13 points for USC. Zach Linfield is next in the studio with the halftime report. Stay with us. This is UConn Women's Basketball on Learfield, presented by Dive Bank. They're not just the Huskies, they're your Huskies. Customize your Wells Fargo debit card or open an account today and show your Husky pride with every purchase. Get started at wellsfargo.com backslash customize. Wells Fargo is proud to be an official sponsor of UConn women's basketball. Copyright 2023, Wells Fargo Bank, N.A., member FDIC. Looking to score a home run in the real estate game? Look no further than Lewis Real Estate. We're not just about the commission. We're about giving back to the community. With below market fees and personalized attention, we're the advocate you need in your corner. Don't settle for less. Choose Lewis Real Estate and make your real estate dreams a reality. Visit the Lewis Business Center conveniently located at 994 to 1000 Farmington Avenue, West Hartford. That's slewisrealestate.com. The exclusive real estate company of UConn Athletics. The exclusive home of the Huskies. This is the Yukon Sports Network from Learfield. The impact of a meal goes well beyond feeding our bodies because feeling full can sound like this. How did the interview go? I did it! I got the job! I can't believe it! And like this. Mom! I got first place at the science fair with my volcano project. That's amazing, sweetie. Congratulations. Because when people are fed, futures are nourished, and everyone deserves to live a full life. Join the movement to end hunger at feedingamerica.org slash act now. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. Hi, I'm Smokey Bear, and I made an assistant to help you out, because only you can prevent wildfires. Hey, Assistant Smokey Bear, call me Papa Bear, because I'm grilling up dinner. <laughs> Did you get it? Yes. 
Good job. So, what should I do with all these coals? Don't just toss them out. Put them in a metal container because those embers can start a wildfire. I understand. The stakes are high. Ha, 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 ha. Learn more at SmokeyBear.com. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service, your state forester, and the Ad Council. One half is in the books, but we have more coming your way. This is the Husky Halftime Report. Coming up, we'll recap the first half and check scores from across the country. Now, let's go to the Learfield Network Studios. Zach Lindenfield with you from inside the Learfield Network Studios as we kick off the Husky Halftime Report by checking the scoreboards. The Huskies hitting the locker room tied with USC with the final ticket to the final four on the line. Epic collision in New York before the start of our game. A rematch of last year's national title between Iowa and LSU. The Tigers won the title a year ago with a 102-85 shootout victory in Dallas. The two met again today in Albany, New York. Caitlin Clark with vengeance on her mind and boy, oh boy, would she get it. Clark dumped in 41 on 13 of 29 from the floor, but beyond the arc, 9 of 20, setting a tournament record. Clark created, assisted, or scored 73 points in Iowa's Elite Eight win. She and Gabby Marshall would play all 40 minutes in the 94-87 Hawkeye victory. Angel Reese would foul out with three and some change to play after 17 points and 20 rebounds for the LSU star. Iowa joined South Carolina and NC State as the other two groups to punch their tickets to Cleveland thus far. The Gamecocks remain undefeated after a 70-58 win over Oregon State, while the Wolfpack erased one-seeded Texas 76-66. The only other one seed that has yet to punch their ticket to the Final Four would be USC, and UConn has something to say about that. When we return to the Husky Halftime Show, we will peek at UConn Athletics and talk to you about Hurley's Huskies. On the Brown Payne Derrison Scott scoreboard, halftime score 33 all between the Huskies and the Trojans. You're locked into UConn Women's Basketball from Learfield, presented by Dime Bank. Calling all movers and shakers, those cranking around on crutches, the high heeled, the ready to be healed, the always on your feet. We are masters of mobility, healers of joints, muscles, bones. What moves you moves us. We are Yukon Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, where we practice what we teach. Here, academic medicine, research, and clinical care unite as one relentless power. Because together, anything is possible. Visit us at health.yukon.edu. Planning a move? Let Lip and Cut Van Lines, the official mover of the Yukon Huskies, take the worry and stress out of your relocation. Whether you're moving across the country, across the world, or just across the street, Lip and Cut Van Lines will handle your packing, moving, and storage needs with the care and quality they deserve. If the Yukon Huskies football team can trust Lip and Cut to get their gear to the field on time, you can trust them to get your items where they need to be. Call Lip and Cut Van Lines today for a free estimate at 800-245-8563. Power Station Events is the official production partner of the Yukon Huskies. The ultimate one-stop source featuring audio, video, lighting, staging, talented DJs and musicians, photography and videography, stunning decor and florals, and much more. As we celebrate our 40th anniversary, we want to thank Yukon Nation as we look forward to the next 40 years. Visit us at PowerStationEvents.com and let us help you plan your next awesome event. Duncan is dropping a new kind of energy. I'm Mike Crispino, voice of the Huskies, introducing Sparked Energy by Duncan. It's energy for the fun of it. Available in two full-on delicious flavors, Berry Burst and Peach Sunshine. It's what you need when your afternoon needs you to get going. A revitalizing burst of caffeine, vitamins, and minerals gives you the energy to turn the fun up to 11. True story. Drop by or order ahead on the Duncan app. Fruit-flavored contains 0% fruit juice, caffeine from caffeine and guarana. Participation may vary. Limited time offer terms apply. to go in the half. Here's Brady. Left of the key for the Blue Cloud Huskies. Giving her plenty of room. Here's Samuels right of the key. Hands off to Beckers. Long three right side. Got it. Much needed three-pointer for Paige Beckers and the ladies as it's tied up at 33 all after 20 minutes of play out in Portland. Paige leading the way for the Huskies 
with 15 points. Welcome back to the Husky Halftime Report. Zach Linfield back with you from Winston-Salem. Let's scan UConn Athletics where it's been a successful day thus far for the Huskies. Softball game three of their series uh, against Providence. Their winners 4-2 to two, and against Central Connecticut State. The baseball nine win it 14-6 to six at Elliott Ballpark in stores. The top overall seeded UConn men dismantled Illinois on Saturday night at the TD Garden in Boston. It sets up for an 8-15 start on Saturday night for the UConn men against the West Region's four-seed Alabama. The Huskies are 2-0 all-time all against the Tide. They met last year in the Phil Knight Classic where UConn won 82-67. They also met in Phoenix for the 2004 Elite Eight. Ben Gordon shined with 36, but Rashad Anderson dumped in 28. They led 53-28 at the break in the final tally, right 87-71. That was on their way to that 2004 National Championship game where they won it at the Alamo Dome. That's thanks to Wayne Norman listening back home. UConn now the first program to reach back-to-back -back Final Four since North Carolina in 2016 and 17. They're also the first program in NCAA tournament history to win 10 consecutive tournament games by 10 or more points. Just an epic run for Dan Hurley and the Huskies. Well, for Gino Ariema's women's team, it's 33 all between the three seed and the one seed. Only one one seed has yet to not punch their ticket. That was Texas a day ago when they lost to the three-seeded NC State Wolfpack. UConn, a three-seed, looking to punch theirs. Bob Joyce is next. He delivers the numbers from this 33-point knot out in Portland and reviews those first 20 minutes. This is UConn Women's Basketball from Learfield, presented by Dimebank. Keeping you ahead of severe weather is the most important thing we do. Hi, I'm Channel 3 Eyewitness News Chief Meteorologist Mark Dixon. And I'm meteorologist Scott Haney. We're doubling down on our commitment to you with something you won't see anywhere else. First alert weather. It's our promise to alert you as far in advance as possible. Simply put, when we know, you know. So you have more time to plan, prepare, and to keep your family safe. This is why we first alert. The tradition, the rivalries. Sirius XM is your destination for all things college sports, and we've got you covered. On Sirius XM College Sports Radio, there's complete coverage of every major conference, including live games, plus 24-7 talk and analysis. So cheer along on the Sirius XM app and listen to your favorite team anywhere. And now you can get three months of Sirius XM free. Subscribe now. See all for details at SiriusXM.com slash College Sports Radio 23. Looking to score a home run in the real estate game? Look no further than Lewis Real Estate. We're not just about the commission. We're about giving back to the community. With below market fees and personalized attention, we're the advocate you need in your corner. Don't settle for less. Choose Lewis Real Estate and make your real estate dreams a reality. Visit the Lewis Business Center conveniently located at 994 to 1000 Farmington Avenue, West Hartford. That's slewisrealestate.com. The exclusive real estate company of UConn Athletics. Which schools will take home the prestigious Learfield Director's Cup for the 2023-24 college athletic season? You can follow the standings of your favorite school or alma mater at L Director's Cup on Twitter and online at thedirectorscup.com. That's thedirectorscup.com and L Director's Cup on Twitter. Trophies will be awarded in June 2024 to the winning institutions in all competitive divisions. Learfield Director's Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics. Time here in Portland, UConn and USC tied at 33. The first game was tied at 45. Beckers with 15 for the Huskies. Watkins with 13 for SC. UConn in the first half, 30, 13 of 30, 43%. They were 3 of 9 from 3 and 4 of 5 for the free throw line. SC, 11 of 34, 32%. 3 of 12 from 3 and 8 of 8 from the free throw line. SC out rebounded UConn by 2, 21, 19, 10, 6 on the offensive glass, but each team with only two, count them two, second chance points in that first half. Huskies assisting on 9 of 13 field goals. They had seven turnovers, two steals, and three blocks, one each for Edwards, Beckers, and Mule was credited for a block. Meanwhile, SC assisted on four of 11 field goals, a little more one on one, six turnovers, three steals, and two blocks, one each for Marshall. And Mackenzie Forbes. 
points in the paint. UConn by 6, 14, 8. They also have outscored SC on turnovers, 11 to 7. Seven five Huskies in the fast break department and five nothing from the bench. Caden Samuels with a three and Ice Brady with a long two. UConn's biggest lead was six, USC's nine in the first. Huskies with the best scoring run of the game, nine. SC had an eight nothing run, both in the first quarter. We had four ties and one lead change. USC led for 10 minutes and five seconds. UConn led for 7 minutes and 16 seconds. And thanks to the Maraway Norman, who's still up. Gino spoke to Chelsea Gray at halftime. UConn's disrupting the SC offense with smaller lineup. Wants better movement at the offensive end to create more one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Taking too long to get out of sets. Got to clean that up. See, I can always count on the bear. Again, if you're wondering where Debbie is, we tried the Zoom tonight, and for some reason, it did not work tonight. Oh, it happens, but if the Huskies are in Cleveland, Deb will be with me at the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse for the Final Four, and the winner will get Iowa of this game. Second half is next on the UConn Sports Network from Learfield, presented by Dime Bank. Are you traveling out of Bradley Airport and need a safe, reliable place to park your car? Trust your vehicle to Last Fly Off Airport Parking, located on Route 75 in Windsor Locks. They have both valet and self-park options to fit any budget. Last Fly is open 24 hours a day and will get you to the airport on time, every time. Join their loyalty program to earn points for free parking and be sure to ask about their corporate discounts. Save 20% by pre-booking online at lazfly.com. Last Fly is the official parking company and a proud supporter of UConn Athletics. Big Y, your family market is proud to be the broadcast booth sponsor of the Yukon Radio Network. Whether it's a meal for two or setting up a feast for the whole team, make sure to visit your local Big Y for it all. Grab some grinders, a party-sized pizza, even sushi and sandwiches. Big Y has all the essentials to satisfy even the hungriest crew. I'm iHeartMedia's Renee Danino, reminding you that it all starts with a trip to Big Y, your family market. It's more than food. It's my Big Y. Calling all movers and shakers, those cranking around on crutches, the high heeled, the ready to be healed, the always on your feet. We are masters of mobility, healers of joints, muscles, bones. What moves you moves us. We are Yukon Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, where we practice what we teach. Here, academic medicine, research, and clinical care unite as one relentless power because together, anything is possible. Visit us at health.yukon.edu. Power Station Events is the official production partner of the Yukon Huskies. The ultimate one-stop source featuring audio, video, lighting, staging, talented DJs and musicians, photography and videography, stunning decor and florals, and much more. As we celebrate our 40th anniversary, we want to thank Yukon Nation as we look forward to the next 40 years. Visit us at PowerStationEvents.com and let us help you plan your next awesome event. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of Connecticut. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the University of Connecticut and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by the University of Connecticut. Well, if you do the math here real quick, it would appear that this is the second time that SC was tied at halftime because they're 3-5 and five when trailing at halftime. And they're 24-0 with the lead at the half. So that would be 27. So twice they've been tied. And for UConn, this is the third time they've been tied at halftime. So we are now 20 minutes, maybe more, away from deciding the last spot in the Women's Final Four. That will begin Friday in Cleveland. South Carolina, NC State will open the early game at 7 the winner of this game gets Caitlin Clark at Iowa in the Final Four in the late game Friday night. Of course, if it's UConn, we're kind of used to that. But all the action right here on the network. Huskies will get it first, and they will come down the near end. They will go for broadcast left to right here in the final 20 minutes. Here's Edwards from Arnold for the Huskies. Aaliyah, foul line extended right, passed inside, deflected by Marshall. Arnold grabs it, gives it back to Edwards, who hands to Nika Mule. Mule off the screen, double teamed as Marshall comes out to help. Bounce pass Edwards in the post, layup blocked by Watkins, and they call a foul on Watkins. And Watkins pleading her case. 
But it'll be two free throws for the Huskies. And Leah Edwards will get the free throws. We've not had our dime of the game yet. That was going to be if Lee was able to convert. But Juju Watkins had other ideas. So here's Edwards, who has five rebounds tonight. So she's at 1,011. She is now eighth all time. As she rattles in the first, she passed our friend Gabby Williams on the all-time rebound list. She'll stay at eight. And take a note of this. The mask is off for Edwards. As she goes one of two from the line. So it's 34-33. Boy, Aaliyah taking a big chance without that mask. But she's Canadian. She's tough. Here's Davis to Forbes. Mackenzie Forbes. As she goes from right to left. Here's Padilla. Ayla Padilla works. Dribbling it off her foot. Grabbed by Watkins on the left. Working on one-on-one -on -one with Nika Mule. Mule stays in front of her. Pass deflected by Beckers. Tipped out by Davis. Grabbed by Padilla. Gives to Davis. The floater off the front rim. No good. And the rebound tapped out. Beckers grabs it for the Huskies. Well, some good work by SC. Beckers got a hand on it the first time. Here's Page on the left. Runs into Marshall. Snaps at the Mule over here on the right to Arnold. KK back up top the Mule who dribbles left. Hands off to Ashland Shade who needs to get going. Foul line. Shoot. It's... That's automatic for Ashland Shade. Get that mid-range going to the Huskies by three. 36-33. Just underway here in the third. Here is Forbes at the foul line. Right to left. Loops it for Watkins. Juju top of the key. Couple of jab steps. Goes left. Tries to shoot the three. Mule all over. Loops a pass to Davis. Gives it back to Watkins. And Mule commits the foul. And then she spikes the ball on the floor. They can't believe the call. And now, Edwards gets the mask back on. But more importantly for UConn, that's three fouls on Mule. So each team with a team foul, Watkins and Mule picking up the fouls for their respective teams. Juju's foul was her second. Here's Padilla, and SC gives it to Watkins on the left wing. Up top to Mackenzie Forbes. Forbes to Watkins on the right. Goes off the screen, works inside. Beckers picks her up, the shot is short. Rebound tipped around, loose. SC up with it, Watkins off the tip. As Edwards couldn't control it, too many hands and goals there. Here's Marshall, skip pass. Padilla, left side for three is long. Off the side of the rim, and, Ed, and Beckers grabs a rebound for UConn. Here's Page, up the floor quickly to Mule. Sets and shoots a three and makes it from the left wing. A three ball for Mule. Beckers the assist. And UConn starts the third with a 6-0 run. Here's Forbes looking to answer for a three. Missed it top of the key. Rebound the long one to Shade. Gives to Mule. Outlets to Beckers up the right side. Skip pass. Arnold. KK in the lane. Out to Shade. Over here for Beckers. Pass tip. Beckers touched it last. Nope. It was touched by Forbes out of bounds. My Forsberg right in front of me. Demonstrative in saying it went off Forbes, much to her dismay. Beckers inbounds to Arnold, gives it right back to Beckers, who gives to Edwards top of the key. She'll drive right to the lane. Head fake, put it up and in. Aaliyah Edwards of the Huskies off to a fabulous start. Edwards with 10. Here's Forbes on the left, spots up for three. Good. Left wing three and a much needed one for Mackenzie Forbes. And the Trojans, that stops an 8-0 run to start the third. 41-36. Three minutes into the third. Here's Mule. Gives to Beckers on the left wing. Beckers drives left to right. In the lane, the pull-up off the back iron. And Rhea Marshall grabs it for SC. Here's Forbes into the front court. 3-10 in. Second half. Forbes starts right now, goes left halfway down the lane, backdoor cut. Davis, the catch, missed it, but Beckers gets her on the way up. That's Page's first foul of the game, and it will be free throws for USC, who's, who are 8 of 8 from the line so far. It'll be the first free throws of the game for Caitlin Davis, who of all the SC players, by far the lowest percentage, just 58.5%. For the young lady from Norwalk. Left-handed shot, first down the way, around and out. Her cousin happens to be R.J. Davis, who of course plays on the men's team at North Carolina, who UConn beat earlier this year at MSG. Here's Davis' second with the Huskies up five. She makes the second. 
So 41-37. And Padilla with a little token pressure on Mule as she brings it to the front court. Nico with three fouls. Gives it to Beckers. Back to Mule on the right. Mule gives it to Edwards. The catch. The layup. No. She'll shoot two, though. Oh, she wanted that so bad to go in. But they're going to get Marshall for the hack of the X. First on Marshall. Team foul number two. So each team now with a pair of team fouls here on the third. Marshall out for USC. And Taylor Bigby making her second appearance. Played briefly late first half into the game. She wears number one for SC. Averages about 21 minutes per game. So here's Aaliyah Edwards to the free throw line. Mask is back on. And she hits the first of two. Aaliyah trying to chase down her buddy Kristen. Williams on the all-time scoring list. She came into the game 30 behind, so they'd have to get to the final four at least for her to chance to surpass her buddy. She's made both free throws. She's got 12. And it's 43-37, matching UConn's biggest lead. Here's Watkins on the left. Gets by Mule in the lane. Dumps it off. Deflected by Edwards, but Padilla grabs it on the perimeter right side for the Trojans. Padilla goes left. Pulls up to the foul line. Around. Out. Beckers. Rebounds for UConn. Outlets to Mule up the right side. Into the front court. Four minutes gone here in the third. Huskies by six with the ball. Mule zips it. Arnold left side three. It's a line drive. Rattles in and out. Rebound hits the floor and Forbes up with it. RSC trying to get Ashlyn Shade another foul. Leaning into her. Gets it back from Davis. Arnold tries to pick her pocket as Forbes leans in. Misses the banker from the right. And Shane rebounds for the Huskies. And Gino says, run some O here, kids. The Huskies up six. Here's the Lee Edwards between the circles for the Blue Clad Huskies. Hands off to Beckers around the screen. Goes right to the 10, lays it in. 17 for Beckers and UConn, their biggest lead, 45-37. As they've outscored SC 12-4 here on the third. Watkins out to Forbes, a big three for the left, and she makes it. Third three of the game for Mackenzie Forbes. And it's back to a five-point UConn lead, 45-40. Beckers, bounce pass inside Edwards, bides her time, muscles up, and she gets a foul call. Davis gets called for the foul. First on Davis, third on SC this period as Padilla goes to the bench for Kayla Williams. If you heard Beth Burns in the pregame show as Edwards back to the free throw line. <laughs> she told the academic advisor at SC, hey, good news, bad news. All the three Ivy League kids committed. You need a pay cut. <laughs> as Edwards rattles in the first. The two seniors, Beckers and Edwards, trying to will this team back to the Final Four for the third time in four years for this group. You know the stretch is longer than that for this team overall. Edwards makes them both. So 47-40 as we're at the midway point of the third here in Portland, Oregon. Here's Williams for SC to Big P. Off up top to Forbes over on the left for Watkins. Guarded by Mule. Goes baseline. Cuts inside the floater. Back rim. No good. Rebound tipped around. Grabbed by Beckers. There's it in a couple of hands. Arnold and Edwards and Watkins and Beckers grab it. Here's Page off an Edwards screen. Goes right to left. Gives it off to Shane on the left wing. Dribbles to the top of the key. Gets free. Shoots a three. Bullseye! Yeehaw! For Ashlyn Shade. You've been waiting for me to say that. And then we have a blocking foul on Beckers. As Watkins coming up the floor. Second foul on Beckers. And that'll get us to the under five. Timeout. The three ball by Shade gives UConn a 10-point lead. 425 to go in the third. UConn basketball brought to you in part by Johnson Brunetti. Proud to be the official wealth management provider of the UConn Huskies. I don't know if I'll ever do that again unless it's a buzzer beater. The Yeehaw part. 50-40 on the Brown Banderas and Scott scoreboard. You're listening to the Huskies in Portland on Learfield. Presented by Dive they're not just the Huskies, they're your Huskies. Customize your Wells Fargo debit card or open an account today and show your Husky pride with every purchase. Get started at wellsfargo.com backslash customize. Wells Fargo is proud to be an official sponsor of UConn women's basketball. Copyright 2023, Wells Fargo Bank, N.A., member FDIC. Sports fans. 
fans now have access to hundreds of weekly podcasts that zero in on the college sports world. Now available in the Varsity Podcast Network and part of the new Varsity app. The app is free and available from wherever you get your favorite apps. Download the Varsity app today to have access to hundreds of national podcasts as well as your favorite team-focused podcasts. The Varsity Podcast Network now available for free on the Varsity app. Download from the App Store and listen today. Aw, shucks. The game's on TV, but I can't listen to the call of my favorite team broadcasters. Never fear. Sync My Game is here. Uh, Sync My Game? Yes. Sync My Game. If you have a DVR and streaming device, head to SyncMyGame.com from Learfield. It's never been easier to hear the impassioned voices of your favorite radio crew synced with the TV. Wow. Uh, thank you, Mr. Just remember, SyncMyGame.com. <laughs> lead of the game either way. Huskies 50, Trojans 40, 425 to go in the third on the Brown, Penderis and Scott scoreboard in this Elite Eight game here in Portland, Oregon. Introducing Sparks, energy by Duncan. It's energy for the fun of it. Available two full-on delicious flavors, Berry Burst and Peach Sunshine, a revitalizing burst of caffeine, vitamins, and minerals. Fruit flavored, contains 0% fruit juice. Caffeine from Caffeine and Gerarda. Participation may vary. Limited time offer. Terms apply. Well, a 17 to 7 start to the third for the third seed of the Huskies. And they're getting big contributions suddenly from Ashlyn Shane with a couple of hoops here in the third. And a three by Nika Mule as the Huskies start the third, making five of their first seven shots. They're five, uh, two of three from three and five of six from the line. Meanwhile, SC just two of nine here in the second half so far. Two of four from three and one of two from the free throw line. The rebounding numbers are even overall at 25. USC 11-6 in the offensive boards, but only two second chance points. And that is a big reason why the Huskies with the lead. Watkins is four of 10. Beckers is six of 13. Forbes is six of 16. And Watkins and Forbes, the only two that have made threes. Watkins with two, Forbes with three. Padilla's 0 for 4 from three. SC with the ball off the timeout. Kayla Williams to Taylor Biggs. To Big B. Now pass. Deflected by Beckers and stolen. Forbes gets back defensively. Beckers lays it up and in as Forbes went Meyer. Beckers the steal on the hoop of the Huskies by 12. And that small but hearty group of UConn fans behind the bench getting all excited as Watkins goes left to right. The pull up is short in the lane and Arnold grabs the rebound for UConn. Beckers to the front court with 3.50 to go in the third. Dribbles to the top of the key. Wraparound pass intended for Edwards is picked up as Beckers got hit. Here comes Watkins the other way. Drives inside, scores, and Arnold picks up her fourth. Beckers tried to thread a bounce pass in the lane that got picked off, and Beckers got hit in the head. Oh, she got whacked in the head by Mackenzie Forbes, or, or actually Davis hit her. Nothing was called, and then Arnold tried to take a charge. And that's four fouls on KK. So Watkins will shoot two. Actually one. I'm sorry, she made the field goal. So Watkins now with 15. And Brady comes in for Arnold. Watkins makes the free throw front rim backboard and in. Backers being pressed in the backcourt at 52-43. Gives to Mule. Mule back to Beckers with two seconds on the clock. Now they get it to Edwards, who's double teamed. Looks for a teammate, and it's Mule out by midcourt. And the Huskies set it up at 15 to shoot. Mika starts left, now right. Bounce pass Beckers, pass two front in front. Fourth turnover on Nika Mule. I'm sorry, second. No third, third turnover on Mule. 15 for the game, four here in the third. 52-43. Points off turnovers, 13-10 Huskies. Here's Kayla Williams for SC on the left. Dribbles right, snaps it off to Watkins on the deep right side. Goes left off a of screen. Behind the back dribble down the right side of the lane. Forces contact. Shot blocked by Brady. Yes. 
My Forsberg sent a lot of ball there. You can hear it in the effects. So Brady gets the block. 11 to shoot for SC. Watkins to inbound. Loops it in to Ray O'Marshall. Gives it back. Nope, we got a foul on UConn, I think. Nika Mule. Uh oh. That's four on Mule. So Arnold and Mule both have four personal fouls, and that's trouble for the Huskies. And Gino is staring at the scores table. I wonder if there's any directors of officials over there. Well, that's big trouble for UConn. As Forbes to the free throw line is Trojans are in the bonus, and Forbes makes the first of two. Her grandfather, actually, played for the Harlem Globetrotters for three years with Mackenzie Forbes. Trying to make the free throw number two. She does. She's got 18. And the Trojans press at 52-45. Here's Edwards right at midcourt in the front court. Protects, gives the Beckers. And the Huskies set it up. Over here for Mule on the right. Looking for Edwards. Nope, cross court pass to Shade. Ball fakes, drives, pull up jumper. Back rim, no good. Marshall affected the shot. Watkins the rebound. Juju, long three left of the key. Front rim, no good. Rebound tip. Grabbed by Nika Mule. Protects and gets it off to Ashlyn Shade with two and a half to go in the third. Here's Beckers into the front court with two and a half to go in the third, and Gino is going to take a timeout, maybe to get Caden Samuels into the game. But we'll take a break. 2.30 left in the third, 52-45, UConn on the Brown Penderis and Scott scoreboard. If you've been injured in an accident, give yourself the Salamone and Morelli advantage. Tell the insurance company, you mean business. Call 1-800-WIN-WIN-1. Salomon and Morelli, the exclusive and official personal injury law firm of UConn Athletics. Ten seconds for station ID and these messages. This is UConn Women's Basketball on Learfield. Presented by Dime Back. Power Station Events is the official production partner of the Yukon Huskies. The ultimate one-stop source featuring audio, video, lighting, staging, talented DJs and musicians, photography and videography, stunning decor and florals, and much more. As we celebrate our 40th anniversary, we want to thank Yukon Nation as we look forward to the next 40 years. Visit us at PowerStationEvents.com and let us help you plan your next awesome event. Connecticut is Husky Nation. This is the Yukon Sports Network from Learfield. Adopt US Kids presents What to Expect When You're Expecting. A teenager learning the lingo. GOAT, G O A T, acronym, stands for greatest of all time. As in spaghetti sandwiches for dinner? They're my fave. Dad, you're the GOAT. You don't have to speak teen to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Visit AdoptUSKids.org. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt US Kids, and the Ad Council. What is dedication? My biggest fear in the middle of my addiction was that my kids wouldn't have a father. And I started thinking, you know what? This isn't my story. I definitely had to become a better man to be a better father. It's important to me that my kids are empowered and truly believe that if, if they can think it, they can do it. That's dedication. Visit fatherhood.gov to hear more. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. left in the third. Brown Pandaris and Scott scoreboard. UConn 52 and USC 45. Mitchell Jeep is Connecticut's newest Jeep retailer at their all-new state-of-the-art dealership offering exceptional customer service in the community for over 100 years. Well, SC is cut into UConn's lead that was 12 at 52 to 40. They've scored the last five and in the process both KK Arnold and Nika Mule now have four personal fouls and Mule's going to stay out there. Along with Brady, Edwards, Beckers, and Shade. It's Watkins, Bigby, Forbes, Marshall, 
and Kayla Williams for USC. They're in the gold alternates tonight. They were the home whites the other night when they beat Baylor. Shade inbounds to Mule. 228 to go in the third. Hands off to Shade on the right. Goes left. Hands off on the switch to Beckers. Guarded by Juju Watkins. Bounce pass to Edwards. Right of the key. Holds over the head. Looks inside with eight to shoot. Here's Aliyah Edwards. Starts left. Bots up. 15-footer. Goes 16. Watkins rebounds with those long arms for SC over Beckers. Watkins in the front court. Pulls up inside for a two. Short rebounded by Beckers. Protects. Turns and brings it up. That's the eighth rebound for Beckers. She leads the Huskies. Here's Page. Bounce pass to Ice Brady. Left of the key on the perimeter. Snaps it off to Beckers on the left wing. Comes around a screen. Picked up by Forbes with 10 to shoot. Beckers to Edwards. Back to Beckers. Can't shoot the three. She'll drive left inside. Pulls up short. Rebound. Watkins took it away from her own teammate. Forbes. Juju down the right side into the front court. Drive stripped away by Brady. Or lost it. Mule up with it. Nika with her head up. Snaps it off to Edwards. Gives it. Nope. She double dribbled. Traveled. She was going to try to get it to Shade on the left. But as she was about to make the pass, she realized that was not there. So each team with a turnover on that possession. Just the third this quarter. SC with two 10-8 Huskies in turnovers for the game. 52-45, 1.15 to go in the third. Here's Kayla Williams for SC wearing the gold headband. That's down the left to Forbes. Here's a three. M missed it. Back rim. Beckers rebounds for the Huskies. One rebound shy of a double-double. Page walks it up. Gives it to Mule. Dumps it to Edwards. Double team. Low block on the left. Dribbles to the corner. Now works her way inside. Backing down Juju Watkins. Turns. Hooks. Lost the handle. Looking for a foul maybe. Watkins gets a block. Gives it off. Here's a three. Big B. Good. Left wing three for Taylor Bigby. 52-48. Then Becker's lost the ball, but she's fouled. And immediately helped up by the USC Trojan Mackenzie Forbes, who fouled her right in front of the scorer's table. Watkins is going to come out for her first break of the game. Padilla comes in, and now... Into the game is Caitlin Davis for Mackenzie Forbes. So 38.5 to go here in the third. The Huskies by four with the ball. SC is real up eight straight after the Huskies went up by 12 at 52-40. There's about a nine-second differential between shot and game clock. Here's Shade to Brady. Right of the key. Cross court to Edwards. Fakes. Elbow left with 13 to shoot. Hands off to Beckers, who spins right. Gives it out to Mule in the right corner. Nika protects in the lane. Off to Brady for a corner three is good! Ice, ice. Brady with a big three. Her sixth of the season. First since the Big East tournament. Bigby gives it out to Padilla. Here's a three at the horn. That's good. Didn't think anything else would happen, would you? What a game. Boy, this Elite Eight Monday night has lived up to the billing. 55-51, UConn through three. They're going to check to play on the Padilla three, but that was good. Don't even need a replay for that. And by the way, let's give that corner three by Brady a dime of the game. Brought to you by Dime Bank. Community Banking lives here. On the field, on the job, wherever your injury happened, Magna Physical Therapy is Connecticut's choice for sports medicine. Achieve potential through physical therapy. Magna Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine in Avon and Canton online at magnapt.com. Buckle up, kids. It's a four-point Husky lead going to the fourth on the UConn Sports Network from Learfield, presented by Dime Bank. Calling all movers and shakers, those cranking around on crutches, the high heeled, the ready to be healed, the always on your feet. We are masters of mobility, healers of joints, muscles, bones. What moves you moves us. We are Yukon Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, where we practice what we teach. Here, academic medicine, research, and clinical care unite as one relentless power because together, anything is possible. Visit us at health.yukon.edu. 
Keeping you ahead of severe weather is the most important thing we do. Hi, I'm Channel 3 Eyewitness News Chief Meteorologist Mark Dixon. And I'm meteorologist Scott Haney. We're doubling down on our commitment to you with something you won't see anywhere else. First alert weather. It's our promise to alert you as far in advance as possible. Simply put, when we know, you know. So you have more time to plan, prepare, and to keep your family safe. This is why we first alert. Are you traveling out of Bradley Airport and need a safe, reliable place to park your car? Trust your vehicle to Last Fly Off Airport Parking, located on Route 75 in Windsor Locks. They have both valet and self-park options to fit any budget. Last Fly is open 24 hours a day and will get you to the airport on time, every time. Join their loyalty program to earn points for free parking and be sure to ask about their corporate discounts. Save 20% by pre-booking online at lazfly.com. Last Fly is the official parking company and a proud supporter of UConn Athletics. Through three here in Portland, and boy, it has been fun. 55-51 Huskies over USC as we start the fourth. And the points of the paint, still UConn plus 10. 20-10 to 10 the paint as UConn's done a really good job inside. Of course, it doesn't help hurt the fact that SC's only scored four points off offensive rebounds, and they have 12, and that's a big factor. And as we all know, under the basket's prime real estate. Points of the paint brought to you by Lewis Real Estate, the exclusive real estate company of UConn Athletics. Looking to buy or sell, call 860-404-2655. As we start the fourth quarter, UConn has led right from the start of the third quarter. When they opened up, there was a trade of hoops. And then UConn took off in that third quarter after, actually, UConn jumped out with the first uh, seven points of the third quarter. So we 41-33, actually eight points, before a couple of hoops by SC. And then it was an 11-3 run that put UConn up by 12. Trojans answered with eight straight before Brady and Padilla hit threes to close out the third. Boy, was that a fun end of the third quarter. Shots in the third. SC was just 3 of 13. They're just 14 of 47. 29.8%. UConn, meanwhile, they were econ they economized well. 6 of 9, 2 of 3 from 3. They were 5 of 6 from the line. They're currently 19 of 39, 48.7%. But the bigger story for UConn, Nika Mule and K.K. Arnold both have four personal fouls. There isn't a Trojan on the floor with the most three. UConn's been called for 16 fouls. SC's been called for 10. Mackenzie Forbes, the only SC player with three. Edwards, Beckers, and Shade each have two. And SC will get it to start the fourth. It'll be the same five out there that ended the fourth for the Huskies. And this crowd has been entertained. Both Albany and Portland have entertained well. Here's Padilla to Watkins. Juju with just 16. That's a win for UConn. Becker steals it away from Watkins. Drives right to the rim, lays it up. No! Watkins affected that shot, as did Bigby. And then the ball goes out of bounds. It'll be UConn ball. As Watkins and Bigby both hustle back hard. And Becker's left it short. The inbound looped to Brady to Edwards. Ball fakes inside. Hands off to Beckers. Gets around Padilla. Beckers gets it to Brady. The ball was tipped. Beckers gets it back with 10 to shoot. One on one with Padilla. Gives it to Edwards. Goes baseline around Davis to the rim. Lays it in and she's fouled. As she slaps the floor and Marshall fouls around the way up. Sixteen for Edwards, explosive to the baseline. As she got around Davis and then just used her body to protect herself from the contact and Marshall commits her second foul. So Edwards with a chance to put the Huskies back up seven. Front rim, backboard, in. 17 for Aaliyah. 58-51 UConn as we start the fourth. Padilla to Forbes. 
Huskies trying to get to their 23rd and 14th of the last 15 NCAA tournaments. Actually, 15 of the last 16. Loop pass inside Watkins to catch. She gets touched. Score, Brady Fowler. Little touch on a floating pass. That's one you probably let her go. 18 for Watkins. Juju tonight, 4 for 4 for the line. SC 12 of 13, make it 13 of 14. As Watkins makes the free throw. SC will put some pressure on. 1 2 2 zone. Mule to Beckers in the backcourt. Loops it to Mule into the front court. Avoids the trap, gets it to Edwards, gives it in the corner. Shade. Brings it back down. The Huskies set it up. Diagonal pass. Cross court on the right to Beckers. Loops it to Edwards right of the key. 13 to shoot. Edwards is going to drive. Over the shoulder. Inside. Brady gets bumped. And she'll shoot two as the ball goes high off the backboard. Not even close to the rim. But Ice Brady with a big play. And it's Davis that gets called for her second foul. And Brady was double teamed. When Edwards came down the right side of the lane. And it will be free throws for UConn. Actually, they make the call on Padilla, not Davis. And that was a correction by the PA announcer as well. So here's Brady in a big spot. She knocks in the first. She's been better in the postseason from the free throw line up to 60% now. She was towing that 50% line for a long time and then got a lot of free throws in the Big East tournament. Misses the second of two. So 59-54 with 8.40 to go. Forbes transition three from the left. Barely catches Zion and a weak side rebound for Ashlyn Shade. That one was hurried. But if you heard Beth Burns in the pregame show, that's what SC does. Quick shots sometimes. They're shooting just 32% tonight. Here's Edwards, left of the key. Gives to Beckers, top of the key. Beckers goes left, gets cut off. Gives to Shade. Fakes, shoots two, missed it long. Rebounded by Marshall. Finds Juju Watkins in the front court. Drives past Shea to the rim. Lays it up and in. 21 for Watkins. It's her time. And it's 59-56. Eight minutes to go to decide the last spot in the Final Four. Mule to Beckers. Page bounce pass to Brady. Left of the key. Ice holds. One dribble to Edwards. Right left. Goes left. Trying on Davis. Oh, she stopped. Lost the handle. Gets it back. Lays it up. No. And the rebound to Marshall. Quick outlet to Watkins. Gino bangs the scorer's table. Spinning Watkins. Throws it out. Gives it to Forbes. Here's a three. It looks good. It is. Right on line for my broadcast spot. Forbes knocks down her 4-3. Boy, that's a big turnaround right there. 21 for Forbes. UConn will take a timeout. Oh, Aaliyah Edwards lost the handle. And she had a chance to score. She missed it. Forbes answers, and we're tied at 59 with 7.21 to go. UConn basketball brought to you in part by the folks at Brown, Penderis, and Scott. Do you have more complex legal issues that are personal business or both? With Brown, Penderis, and Scott, you get more than a lawyer. You get a law firm. Visit bpslawyers.com. 721. We're back where we were at the half. All tied on the Brown Pen Derrison Scott scoreboard. This is UConn Women's Basketball on Learfield. Presented by Dimebet. Big Y, your family market is proud to be the broadcast booth sponsor of the Yukon Radio Network. Whether it's a meal for two or setting up a feast for the whole team, make sure to visit your local Big Y for it all. Grab some grinders, a party-sized pizza, even sushi and sandwiches. Big Y has all the essentials to satisfy even the hungriest crew. I'm iHeartMedia's Renee Danino, reminding you that it all starts with a trip to Big Y, your family market. It's more than food. It's my Big Y. We're back in 60 seconds after this from your local station. This is the Yukon Sports Network from Learfield. This is your captain. We are going to be experiencing some slight turbulence. Please fasten your... Oh, hold on. Just got a video of my cat. Imagine the pilot of an airplane was as confident as you are texting and driving. Seems kind of crazy when you put it like that. 
visit stoptechstoprex.org. A message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, and the Ad Council. I'm Chris Jackamick. I served in the United States Air Force, and I deployed three times. So in 2017, I was serving as an Air Force First Sergeant. Our motto in that role is my job is people, everyone is my business. But unfortunately, in that year, I would lose my own brother, Lance Corporal Adam Jackamick, to suicide. The majority of veteran suicides are from guns. I store my weapons securely, not only for myself, but for my family. Store all your guns securely. Help stop suicide. My service never stops. Brought to you by N Family Fire and the Ad Council. Well, what an effort for both teams. We're down to 721 to go, and this one is tied at 59 as USC has erased a 12-point UConn deficit as they've started the fourth with an 8-4 spurt. And we're back even right where we were at the start and at halftime. Stay with us when we're done. It's the Hard on Over Post Game Show. We've got highlights. We're open, praying for a courtside interview. That means a win. Otherwise, you'll have press conferences and locker room reaction. Final stat, Zach will have scores. It's all coming your way courtesy of the Heart Auto Group. Shop Heart Auto Group. You treat you like family and only a heartbeat away. Heartcars.com. Huskies bring back the same lineup. Kay Carroll still on the bench with four fouls. Kanan Samuels sits there. Nika Mule has four herself. And as UConn, you got to wonder how much gas is left in the tank. USC has been deeper tonight. They've used three off the bench. Actually, they're only rotating seven. Kayla Williams hasn't played a lot. Brady to Shade with 7.13 to go. 14 to shoot. Shade with a bounce pass to Mule. Works inside to Brady. Turns, shoots, short. Rebounded by Davis. Off to Juju Watkins. Down the right side. Backs it up. Comes off a Marshall screen. Inside the arc. A two blocked by Beckers. Grabbed by Brady. And she's falling. Gets it to Shade. Page blockers. Buckets, blockers, whatever. It doesn't matter. She just does it all. Second block for Page tonight. She has the ball. Sideline left with six and a half to go. Gives it to Aaliyah Edwards. Looking back door. Nope. Hands off the mule. Mule goes left in the lane. Determined to get it off to Brady. Short jumper. It's good. Brady with eight off the bench. UConn by two. We're used to this. This is the third straight Elite Eight game for UConn that's been a doozy. Forbes to Davis. Gives it out. Padilla catch and shoot three. is short. It's an air ball, and it's going to go out of bounds. Padilla closed the third with her only three. She's now one of six and one of eight for the ball game. And it's UConn ball with 6.08 to go. UConn shooting 45%. SC 33. UConn 2 of 6 here in the 4th. SC 3 of 6. Here's Mule with 5.55 to go. Regulation. Comes off a screen. Goes left. Gives it to Edwards. Fakes him along 2. Drives inside to the rim. Lays it in. She got Davis up like a puppet on a string. 19 for Aaliyah. Huskies by 4. Watkins to Marshall. They give her space. Here's Juju Watkins, pull up jumper for the foul line, front rim no, Marshall rebounds, gets hit by Brady and the foul is called and Brady slaps the floor with two hands. Third on Brady, that is the 17th foul of the game for the Huskies. Every player with multiple fouls except Samuel, she only has one. And Rhea Marshall, who's four for four, eight points, ten rebounds for SC, shoots two. And she rattles in the first. Rattle it. It's rested on the fat part of the rim, holding the, on the backboard, and it just fell through. Arnold will check in if Marshall hits the free throw. Missed it. Rebound tipped up. Tipped up again. It's a battle. Watkins took down Edwards. No call. And they cha and they call it UConn ball. Boy. Juju Watkins all over Leah Edwards. And they didn't call anything. Even Emily Adams over here in the heart for current saying, where's the foul? Yeah. 
Emily decked out in the in light blue tonight. I've got the National Flag Blue socks on tonight. Here's Arnold with four fouls. Gives it to Edwards in the high post. Arnold came in for shade. Now Beckers gives to Brady. Back to Beckers. Here's a three. Missed it from the left. Mule fights for the rebound. Gets hit and a foul is called. And it's Juju Watkins that gets called for the foul. Her third. Nico was begging for a foul. She got smacked as she hit the floor. That's the third team foul on USC in the 63-60 game. That is 5.07 to go. You talk about a war tonight. Here's Mule. Looking for an inbound. Finds Beckers. Turn, shoots, hits. That's automatic. Every single time that inbound play happens, it's a deuce. Beckers is 21. So does Watkins. Here's Watkins driving. It's bumped by Edwards. Missed it. The runner long, and she'll shoot two. That time, Edwards was all over Watkins. And Juju Watkins doing what Juju Watkins does best, taking it to the rim, getting contact, and getting to the free throw line. Watkins, 7 of 19, 5 of 5 from the line. She has nine boards. Becker's 21, 9, and 6. She and Mule have six assists each tonight for the Huskies as Watkins hits the first. So for Nika Mule, it is her 33rd five assist plus game, the 73rd of her career for Beckers. It's the 14th this year and the 41st of her career. Arnold and the Huskies watch Watkins make the second free throw and it's back to a three point game, 65-62. Beckers and Mule in the backcourt. Snaps it to Arnold on the right side. The Huskies are in the front court with four and a half to go. Arnold avoids a trap. Goes off her knee right to Forbes. Outlet to Watkins. Drives. Euro step layup is good. 25 for Watkins. They got Arnold to turn it over. And it's a one-point game. With four and a half to go. 65-64 UConn. Points off turnovers tonight. 16-14 Huskies. Here's Beckers to Brady. Backdoor bounce pass to Edwards. A dangerous one. Kicked by SC. I'm not sure if it was Marshall up top. Or Forbes down in the lane. But either way, it's UConn ball with 20 to shoot. As Nick Camille will inbound. Or attempt to. Trying to get it to Beckers. Finds her. Trying to post up on Forbes. Turns. Forces it up. And in! Boy, you don't think these kids want to go to the final four? Here's Watkins, a three, rattles it out. Rebound grabbed by K.K. Arnold. And it's a three-point UConn lead with four minutes to go. Page trying to will the Huskies to Columbus in a date with Iowa Friday night. Arnold to Edwards, to Mule on the left. Nika works right, hands off the backers. Quick three is good. She dazzles in the Elite Eight. Oh, a vicious screen not called by Davis as Watkins drives short and a rebound tipped right to K.K. Arnold. Oh, Beckers got absolutely trucked and nothing was called. That was an illegal screen. And now Beckers has it with 3.20 to go and the Huskies up by six. Taking some deep breaths, trying to will her team to the final four. Beckers to Arnold, to Edwards, right of the key. Gives to Mule with five to shoot. Finds Beckers off a curl. Gets a screen. Shoots. Misses from the right. Rebounded by Davis of SC. Off to Forbes. Trojans down three with the ball. Here's Forbes trying to shoot the three. And we get a stoppage because Lindsey Gottlieb, the head coach of SC, takes a timeout. So both teams will have two timeouts left with 2.53 to go. I think the Huskies could use some sparks. Energy by Duncan. It's energy for the fun of it. Available in two full-on delicious flavors. Berry Burst and Peach Sunshine. For a vitalizing burst of caffeine, vitamins, and minerals. Fruit flavored. Contains 0% fruit juice caffeine from Caffeine and Garana. Participation may vary. Limited time offer. Terms apply. Each team with three team fouls. Here in the fourth. Each team with two timeouts left. 
And what a show it has been here in Portland, Oregon. Beckers with 26. She's 10 of 21. Nine rebounds, six assists. Mule with seven. Edwards with 19. And then it's contributions from a lot of people. Brady with eight you would not expect. She's three of four. Five for Shade. Samuels with a triple. Mule with five. Arnold with four. Meanwhile, 25 for Watkins, 21 for Forbes, 9 for Marshall, then Davis, Padilla, and Bigby all with a 3 each. And that's 7 straight 20-point games for Beckers. And that's a career high. And they've all come in the postseason. You think Paige missed the postseason? I'd say so. You probably would too. It'll be USC ball with 22 to shoot. And Caitlin Davis will inbound. It's 70-64 UConn. 2.53 left. They have led since the start of the third, but we were tied through three. At 59. Here's a loop pass. Davis. Elbow right. Hands off to Watkins. Long two straight on. Side of the rim no good. Becker's a double-double with her 10th rebound. It's her fourth double-double of the season. Mule and Becker's in the backcourt. They better hurry. Nick has got to get it across with one second to spare. Finds Edwards on the right. Bumps Davis, lays them in, and the foul. Got Davis a little bit off balance. Nika's eighth assist. Yes, Davis was not there in time. And she commits the foul. And UConn can go up nine with this free throw. But Leah Edwards was the MVP here at the Moda Center when UConn played here in November of 22. She's got 22. And they're not done yet. 2.25 to go. Huskies by nine. SC the ball. Here's Watkins on the left. Drives right. Lost the handle. Right to Padilla. Hands off to Mackenzie Forbes with 2.15 left, 13 to shoot. Forbes gets a screen, pops a three. No good. Rebound tipped right to Nika Mule. Dribbles out of traffic and gives to Beckers, and she'll bring it up with two minutes to go. Paige Beckers reminding the country, I'm still here, and I can ball. Here's Page. Gets it to Edwards. Out by midcourt. Gives to Mule. 10 to shoot. 145 to go. Nika goes left off a of Brady screen. Gives to Beckers. Fakes on the three. Gets inside. Protects. Floats it in. Beckers with 28. Huskies by 11. 75-64. Mule the steal. Nika grabs it. Davis trying to chase her down. Misses the lamp, but she gets fouled by Davis. It's a 10-0 run for the Huskies. They're 45th of the season, and they could not have picked a better time to do it. Up 11 with 125 to go, and Nika Mule to the free throw line for the first time in a while. Definitely in the NCAA tournament. She did have a free throw in the Big East tournament. She's 9 of 15 from the line with a chance to extend UConn's lead. First is up, and it's all next. Telling us in the media yesterday, she just wants to be remembered as a good teammate, a good friend, and someone to help guide the team. Missed the second one, but the rebound is grabbed by Edwards, and she brings it back out to Mule, gives to Beckers with 118 to go. Beckers goes left, circles the wagons. Davis trying to... Get the ball away. Here's Beckers. Gets by the D. Gets hit inside. Lost the handle. Watkins lost the handle. Edwards goes for the steal. Tips the ball and a foul is called. And Edwards smacks the floor in disgust. And the coaches are holding Gino back. So he doesn't get teed up. There is a SC player who lost a shoe. I think it's Watkins. Over by the basket stanchion to our right. It is Juju Watkins. She lost the shoe. Beckers went inside. Watkins blocked the shot, lost the shoe, and then she dove in. Not sure where the foul on Edwards was. 
but they're up 12 with a minute to go. Here's Forbes. Pass to Davis. Back to Forbes. Step back. Three with Beckers challenging, and Forbes hits it. Forbes with 24. And UConn will take a timeout. 55.7 seconds to go. 76-67 UConn. Trying to punch its ticket to Cleveland. What a game it has been. Excuse me for one minute. I must send a text across the way to our fabulous sports information director, Anna Labonte, trying to organize interviews because if the Huskies win, we will definitely have a courtside interview. It will either be with Aaliyah Edwards or Nika Mule. What a performance tonight by UConn. They've outscored SC. Twenty-two eighteen in the third, twenty-one sixteen here on the fourth. Huskies have made five of their last seven shots. Paige and Aaliyah have gotten more help than Watkins and Forbes tonight. And that's the reason why UConn has the lead. And they are fifty-five point seven seconds away from a, from a Friday date with Caitlin Clark and the Iowa Hawkeyes. Teams come out of their huddle. And it will be UConn ball in the front court. UConn with four turnovers here in the second half. Two in the fourth. SC also with four turnovers. Paige Beckers will inbound. Looking for Aaliyah Edwards, finds her right at the midcourt stripe, gets away from Davis, and Davis fouls her. And that puts UConn in the bonus with 53.4 seconds to go. Both teams, by the way, are as good as in the bonus. UConn has 14 fouls. So here's Edwards. Huskies, 13 of 17. Ed Aaliyah's third miss tonight. Mom and Dad... About four rows up, right behind Anna Labonte. In fact, Aaliyah's parents are right behind Kathy Oriyama and Meg Kumo. The second one by the Masked Wonder. Back rim no good, so we stay a nine-point lead. Watkins quickly to the front court. Goes left, goes right. The pull-up over Beckers. Beckers got a piece of it, but she also got a piece of Watkins with 47 seconds to go. And that's Beckers third. Well, that's a big turnaround. Edwards missed both free throws, and here comes Watkins trying to cut into this UConn lead. 76-67 right now. Two dribbles for the young lady from Los Angeles, and she sinks the first. What a, what a first year for Juju Watkins. Boy, the freshmen who've come in this year all over the country making major impacts, and this young lady's the best of them. She makes both free throws. UConn has one timeout left, so the win down from the baseline. Arnold in the backcourt. She's double teamed and fouled immediately. And it's Watkins that gets called for the foul. And that's her fourth. So now, KK Arnold shoots free throws. Arnold has not been to the line tonight. She made the two she took yesterday, or I'm sorry, Saturday, in the Sweet 16. She's 60 of 88 from the line this season. She's 6 of 7 in the postseason from the strike. Trying to reestablish a 9-point lead. Misses the first of two. Arnold walks away from the foul line and now gets it back. That's three straight misses from the line for UConn. 76-69, 44.5 to go. Second one, front rim, backboard, no good! That's four straight misses for the Huskies. Watkins in the front court left. Dribble it off her foot. It's going to go barely. Nope, not out of bounds. Watkins saves it. Gets it to Forbes out by midcourt. Goes right with 32 seconds. Comes off the screen. Arnold fell. Force three. No good. Rebounded by Mule and gets fouled from behind with 26 seconds to go.
Davis commits the foul. That's her fourth. And now it's Nika Mule who will take her turn at the line. Boy, the Huskies aren't making this easy, are they? Edwards missed two. Arnold missed two. Now Mule. The senior from Zagreb, Croatia, misses the first. And I think Gino and the coaching staff's about to have a coronary. But time's running out. USC is 5 of 14 here on the fourth. They're shooting just 32.3% tonight. Which is among their lowest this season. Second on the way. That's short. Rebound. Tipped around. Edwards can't control it. It's out of bounds. Six consecutive misses from the line for UConn. Shade comes in for Brady. SC takes a timeout. <laughs> this is a UConn team that shoots 75% from the line. And they're 4 for 12 here on the 4th. And you hope and you pray that this does not come back to bite him. Let's give you a little history in the Elite Eight. You might remember Kristen Williams missed a couple late in the Elite Eight game against Baylor, and that set up that wild finish where Dejanay Carrington thought she was fouled. I mean, in the end, she was, but it was not called. And then the Elite Eight game in Bridgeport. Olivia Nelson Adona had two free throws with the game tied at 61 at the end of regulation. She missed them both and gave North Carolina State a chance to win it. But they could not convert. And UConn ultimately won in a double overtime classic. Huskies by seven. SC has the ball. 23.6 to go. Mackenzie Forbes will inbound on the near sideline in the... USC and they loop it to Watkins against Edwards. Drives, gives it inside. Marshall missed the layup. Gets her own rebound. Put back is good. 17 and a half. comes Forbes in for Kayla Williams and Davis back in for Rig for Bigby. So here's Mule. One of four for the line tonight. First one is up, first one is good. And everybody can take a deep breath. The lead is six. Still a two possession game with 16.7 to go. SC has one timeout left. Nika knocks them both down. And SC calls for time. It's a seven-point Connecticut lead with 16.7 seconds to go. <laughs> if the Huskies win, they will go right to Cleveland. So will the play-by-play -play guy. And Zach Linfield will be a busy boy. He'll have at least three games, I'm thinking, this weekend. You don't think the guys are going to lose to Alabama, do you? And don't forget, UConn's beaten Caitlin Clark twice in the in her time as a Hawkeye. The Elite Eights, no, the Sweet 16 in San Antonio, and then they won a wild game here in the Phil Knight Invitational, where AZ Fudd went off. But what Caitlin Clark is doing is in the stratosphere of Diana Tarazi 2003 and Cheryl Swoops in the 80s. 16.7 to go. Forbes will inbound for USC. They're down by 7 to UConn. Throws a baseball pass to Marshall. The catch.
bounce pass to Watkins. She'll drive inside of the rim, lay it up and in with the 12 seconds to go. They'll press. Beckers runs the baseline, outlet pass, Marshall steals it with 10 seconds to go. Skip past Padilla, here's a three for the left, back rim with six, Shade rebounds and she's fouled with three seconds to go. Although they call a tie up actually, but it doesn't matter. The Huskies are up five with four seconds to go. Ashlyn Shade is all by herself. They get it into Edwards, fouled immediately with 3.2 seconds to go by Davis. And this incredible, incredible run is going to continue to Cleveland. Davis has fouled out. Fifth time this year that Davis has fouled out. So here's Aaliyah Edwards, Kingston, Ontario, Canada, trying to get UConn to 80 points and seal the deal. Knocks down the first, points up in the air, and we're going to Cleveland. And Paige Beckers with a big smile on her face at midcourt, shaking her head. Second up, second good, we're done. Quick inbound to Watkins from midcourt. The heave, banker no good. The Yukon Huskies are headed to Cleveland. Their 23rd appearance in the Final Four. I have no idea how this team has kept it together, but as Ali Edwards says, we're not done yet. Paige Beckers giving a big hug to Juju Watkins. So is Aaliyah Edwards. And the Yukon Huskies have done it. Next stop, Friday night, Cleveland, Ohio, and the Final Four. Final score of 80 to 73. The Huskies beat the top-seeded Trojans of USC. So we will have two number ones and two number threes in the Final Four in Cleveland, Ohio. And it's the first time that UConn has won a regional this far west. The farthest west they've ever won a regional was Lincoln, Nebraska in 2014. They played in the regional final in 2007 in Fresno and lost to LSU. But what a story. Seven healthy bodies. But Paige Beckers and Aaliyah Edwards were absolutely dynamite tonight. And the UConn Huskies, for the 23rd time, are going to the Final Four. This, without question, is one of Gino Oriema and Chris Daly's greatest coaching jobs ever. But it doesn't hurt to have number five on your roster healthy. And they survived the foul trouble of Nika Mule and K.K. Arnold and got it done. What a ride. They are huddled up in front of the USC bench. They're getting t-shirts. They're getting hats. And they are one happy bunch. Paige will do TV.